MovieWeb.com. You have a dream cast here. Can you talk about how you found these characters and what was your reaction when you found out they were going to do the film? Well, I was floored when I got this cast. You know, I started with Clive Owen, who was my number one choice in the entire history of cinema. He would be my number <laughs> one choice to play Mr. Smith. Um, I kind of feel like he's got the best of like Indiana Jones, the man with no name from the Sergio Leone movies, with a taste of James Bond. And um, he responded to the script, um, and I was just like overwhelmed when I got him. Uh, Monica Bellucci is perfect to go with Clive because Clive plays this damaged guy, and I needed somebody who could be equally as damaged and bring some life experience to it. And they both sort of had a great chemistry. And then every film, every action film needs a great villain. You need a great uh, bad guy, and Paul Giamatti rocks. So you've got this nonstop action. You know, when you're shooting a film, you're grinding in day in, day out. How do you keep everyone motivated? Was there ever a point where you yourself were just like, oh, I'm running out of energy? How did you keep that up? You know, I kind of feel like, you know, directing is the greatest job in the world. Here I got to create this action hero out of nothing. So I can never be ah on the set. So oftentimes I'll roll on the floor, I'll roll like the hero, I'll get dusty. Everybody's going, Michael, you don't have to do it, just tell us. And I go, no, I'll act it out, you know? Um, I sometimes, one time I ended up getting a, a, a gun from the prop master and I ended up ambushing Clive, you know, just, oh, how is he going to do? Just to keep things lively on the set. Now, the animation is the stuff of legend. You know, it got out there, people liked it. Talk about the process of getting that to the film and how long it took for you to actually get that done. Well, you know, I animated out 15 minutes of the movie, hand-drawn animation to figure out all what all the action scenes would be like shot for shot. And we had the animation on set, and when we were doing certain shots, we'd say, look, we need him to go through frame faster because look at the rhythm in the animation. It needs to match this. This is the visual flow. This is our blueprint. This is my vision. But it made things go very quickly. I had this great cinematographer, Peter Powell, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and he knew beforehand exactly what angles I needed, what kind of equipment we had, and literally we flew through it. I guess, have we seen uh, the final adventures of Smith and DQ, or is there anything else that we can see from them in the future well you know the movie has like all the crazy things you can do with a gunfight a making love gunfight a gunfight in midair um, and it's a lot of fun but I still think there's some more cool ideas I could do with gunfights so I'd love to do uh, a follow-up what are you doing uh, planning on doing next uh, I'm working on a new screenplay I'm staying in the sort of wild crazy you know kick-ass action violent R-rated genre I'd love to continue on making action movies can you give us a little bit of tidbits on the new screenplay? If you thought Shoot 'em Up was wild, wait till you'll see this. It has gunplay, but it has other kinds of action, and it has it's up the uh, sex quotient in it as well. All right. Any ideas about casting for that, maybe? Uh, uh, you know what? I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm finishing up the script, and then after that, we'll see what happens. <laughs>